Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode. Today we're talking about this, Wanaka Farm. This is a game that has been on my radar for a while now and a lot of people have been posting it in the comments below. Uh, so it's clearly been on people's minds of a, a project that's worth some attention. This isn't sponsored, I just, they, they released the trailer uh, two, two hours ago and it looks good. It looks good. It looks like something that is up my street and I've loved farming games ever since Harvest Moon on Game Boy. I used to just play this so much, and this one is so satisfying about farming, I don't know why. Uh, but let's check this trailer out. So, fairly mid-level graphics in terms of quality, I would say. We've got a variety of different, different flowers and vegetables. we got goats. We've got some very... What, we've got pirate goats. That That is not a... Uh, Pirate goat. That is that is a pirate pig, Dan. There's a pirate pig. It was a pig, not a goat. I know all of you are probably thinking it like that's that that's that pig. <laughs> Thought I'd just catch you before you say that. And there's goats with grills now. I'm not think I don't think I'm happy with that. I don't I don't think it's fair to put that on the pigs. It's night time. This is where zombies attack. Apparently there's gonna be a zombie mode. Where they where are they? Are they come in? There's no, there he is, there's the zombie. Rawr. There's no zombies in this game. Wandering around your farm, checking out your crops after the night. See if they've grown in the day. Then, classic farming style, you get your one plot of land, one moment motion at the same time, and it's grind, but you plant your seeds, and you start them off. Now as you can become better, generally, you get things that mean allow you to do more at once. Here we're farming for, for cows. <laughs> I'm guessing this is for them to graze and get some food. Yeah, we've got so many seconds before they're doing that. Now, we've got a little pond here with, with fishing as well. Koi fish. Look at koi fish, it looks like a puppy. And it has a funny hat on it. They're gonna have events like Cowmaster, Chicken Racing. Chicken Racing sounds good. We have your different tabs. There's gonna be treasures. And these are gonna have random drops. Immortal, Immortal House. There's gonna be breeding where you can breed cabbages. This is, I believe is for the cabbage battling system. It's no cabbage battling system. Fire, factory, <laughs> they said factory. Battery, sorry, I was I was talking and I was pretending to be this language. Very nice accent as well, isn't it? Hello there, welcome to Wanaka Farm. I should have introduced it like that, shouldn't I? Yeah, healthy, healthy market cap this. Market cap of 1.5 billion. Kind of healthy. Good token supply. Uh, this has increased heavily from when it was launched. Now bear in mind, with this token... <laughs> no, no, bear in mind. <laughs> I, I bought this before it came out because uh, I bought a, a faulty token. I think I think it was this one. Um, always check, make sure that it isn't 100%. This was before I knew how to navigate these things and scams. I bought like a thousand dollars. It's the only only time I've ever been scammed. I bought a thousand dollars of this because it looked so good and right on my street. Um, and then I, I think I stayed away from it because I was just like, no, it's got too much bad motion. That's too many bad emotions tagged to it. So uh, I stayed away from it. I regret that now because <laughs> now I've missed out on uh, a 3x from there. A healthy 3x, 4x maybe even. Yeah, 4x from there. So this has done really well. And because farming games are just fun, aren't they? They're just, I don't know why, but they appeal to so many people. They appeal to me. I just enjoy the simplicity of it. I enjoy the progression in that as well, like the so satisfying in Harvest Moon where you would, you know, you'd grind for days doing one plot at a time, then watering one at a time, and then you'd unlock the special sprinkler which did nine at once, and it was like, yes, I'm a king of the farming industry, and you know, I look forward to doing that in the NFT world because at the moment, you know, I haven't come across an NFT one. Some people thought I was playing an NFT game with the big farm story, but that's not an NFT game. But that's what I kind of would like to see this being like. 
Um, but this looks like it has some extra features in terms of like, I love the fact that it has chicken racing um, and cow master. So I thought we'd do a little bit of a deep dive into it, check it out together. Because this is this is my first time looking through it. I've watched uh, watched Zuljin's video on it when he first did a sponsored content on it, um, and yeah, I mean it, that's when it was on my radar. And I thought, yeah, that looks like something up my street. But then, as I say, I haven't gone near it since. But then that trailer just happened to to pop up, and I was like, yeah, I'm 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 checking this out. So we have features of a farm. Players are randomly assigned when starting the game. Players can renovate, decorate, and exchange with others. There'll be a trading market for NFT exchange if a um, market is harvested. Items including farm, items, seeds, crops, and livestock. Feed and grow. Players will choose to buy seeds or pets or both to grow on their farm according to their preferences or the suitability of their environment they have for each species. So then we've got build and decorate the market the farm the farm build and build the farm players can go to the market to buy and decorate items and expand on their farm combination of cross breeding so players can combine seeds and pets to create new breeds according to their parents genes okay so maybe the through doing that they'll have better properties and maybe that means better output better production harvested products from the farm will be owned by players in the form of digital assets on cyberspace or nft tokens on blockchain Farming with friends, at Wanaka Farm we aim to balance the two main pillars, immerse players in a relax and zenitude, uh, zenitude playing environment, that's what I'm looking for, I love these, I love these they just feel like chill whenever you play in a farm game, providing a revenue stream for every player. Gene mutations. Now, each seed pet will have a different number of genes. Normal genes are mutant genes. Using genetic analysis to know what the gene mutation rate, the higher the gene mutation rate, the higher the probability of creating a mutant tree. Or a mutant goat, in this case. Now, a mutant tree. Roadmap. Um, so, phase one was the IDO staking and game release 1.0. So, we have, at the stage where, where IDO has been completed, um, I don't think you can stake one of yet. Haven't seen that anywhere. Uh, game release 1.0 on the PC. So we are getting. We are in. 9, 10, 11, 12. No, no, no. We are dangerously close. Dangerously close. 15 days away from um, getting to the point where we're at this being, you know, released from their, from their roadmap. Does it say a date? It doesn't actually say a date of whether when they're planning to release this um i'm not following it yeah we've got the game trailer but the closed alpha test all right is open monica is open for our closed alpha test registration that came out on the 13th so you can complete this form let's see if it's still available to anybody who wants to do it Ooh, before 18th of september so yeah i'll put the links down in the description below um so that you can access this as well. Yeah, so for me, I love the experience, like the relaxed gameplay, satisfaction of building your farm up slowly. It was always that slow grind to begin with, but it felt great getting enough money to buy better equipment. I think these games lacked a lot of the features in one I could farm at the moment, and FT ownership things you make is gonna be great. Submit. Okay, so you can still access this in alpha if you wanna get in on this early. Um, I'm hoping to, there's still a chance. So, further following on from that, we have phase two, which will involve game release on, it's gonna be browser-based, community events and competitions. Phase two, three will have the game release on mobile and iOS. Phase two, phase four, <laughs> Q2, game release 1.3 AR. That's augmented reality, which means they're planning to have the you know, real world things that happen related to the game, influencing the game. That could mean, you know, like, the amount of walking that you do, you could walk your pets, <laughs> walk your cows, and it'll sync up, which would be amazing. I think, you know, AR is has been big with Pokemon Go, and then it just fizzled out as we got more imitations of it, but we haven't seen it in the NFT space, so if they're going for that, great, they could be the first ones out the gate with it, and it could be really good. VR in 1.4, more cross-chain NFT interoperability. So this is... This is, a, you know, they're, 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 they're setting their sights high. I and mean, when they're not just sticking to this platform of browser-based, 
it's going way beyond that. So that's really good to see. Their uh, executive and development team is made up of Tron Tran, the co-founder and CEO. CEO, CTO, uh, so it talks about some of their past history, full stack developer, CTO, CTO at Linkfar, Kyber Network, full stack developer. So a lot of experienced people with with experience in past areas. So you can see Sang Nguyen, which is really good to see. It's somebody who is a developer in MRVR and AR. And it looks like they've got a fairly big team. Yeah, so a big team to this. This Oh, more even art. Yeah, that's what you like to see. A big team means obviously more hands on deck to work with different areas and more different skill sets. They've got some some good respectable partners and investors involved in this. You know, some um, some launch pads, pools, Oxball. Secured by Certic and Moonpool. So Certic and Moonpool, they are your uh, these are your security tests that show basically that you know it's not something that's going to be a rug pull. They just add that layer of security in your investment to things that have uh, have got that roadmap we've seen. And then we go to papers. They do have a pitch tech and a green paper. <laughs> Is that because it's farm? And then, yeah, yeah, this it's the version of their white paper, but it's green. <laughs> so this goes into way more detail. And I'm not going to run through it with you guys um in today's episode we might go through this let me know if you want it, want me to in more detail because there's so much to it um really i wanted to just cover the fact that this trailer is out get it on the radar for you um and talk about the alpha test that it's still i mean that was a surprise i didn't do want to do that in the beginning but it happens to be there it's available so we know when when this is available for you to actually play in alpha and then when it's coming out still don't know uh but shows that if the alpha testing is happening in the next couple of days two weeks might be sufficient time for it to come out as a beta then after that um it depends on how well it works whether those bugs oh look a bear a bear i didn't see a bear in the trailer i want to get a bear yeah really looks really good the green paper looks really good as well um i'm gonna have a look at this now I'm in now. I don't. I don't have any of the uh, the the hurt there. I'm I'm in as well. I've invested. I just bought a hundred. We'll see where that gets us in a couple of days. Um, I figured the announcement of the trailer might impact price a little bit, and and as we get close to the game coming out, who knows how big this can go. But very early on the project, really. Even though you know we're talking days on from here. A release is still fairly early days in you know think about a year a year's time where's this gonna be where's where where would my thousand dollar investment be <laughs> we'll leave it there I, i'm like it's it's gone the emotion's gone i'm not i don't feel it and i'd still feel it a little bit okay it hurts scam being scammed will always burn Okay, but yeah, really exciting project. One to definitely keep your eyes on for sure. That is all for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like on the video. Hit subscribe if you can keep up to date with future content. That is all from me. See you guys soon.